Good afternoon, and guess what? Welcome to another extravaganza! Yeah, it gets a bit boring after a while, I suppose. Ah, well, what we're still doing, this is number three of three, and we're going to look at parallel. And what does parallel mean? It means that the components could be resistors, could be bulbs, could be anything that have the same voltage and the current splits. It does not mean the one above each other. Only a client comes up with that. So what we're going to look at is a question here. I have made these questions up, so I know the answers. But we're going to, I'm going to explain these, and then you can have a look at them. And you can say, I know what that boy's on about. Or maybe you don't. So then you can look at it twice. God forbid if you ever do a bit of work. Anybody see the new icons of Poor Old Brain and Co? Aye, just keep a wee look at the thumbnails. Do you see how things are going? So, here we have three resistors. 4 ohm, 6 ohm and a 12 ohm. Now that's a bit like the last question on, the, on number 2. For those who are interested, this is number 3. So in comes a current. And, for, and I know, because I'm a know-all, I know that that has 3 amps. Right, so I want to find the current there. I want to find the current there, and I want to find the current there. How in the name of Jesus am I going to find that? Let's have a look. I know that the voltage across the four ohm is equal to the current times the resistance of the four ohm. Guess what? I stuck it in a bracket. I wrote the equation down. I got a mark for knowing that. Now I'm going to put the bits and pieces in. So the voltage across the 4 ohm is the current 3 amperes, because current solves measuring amperes, by 4 ohms. So there is 12 volts across that. So I can write that in. There are, or there is 12 volts across this. Being in parallel, they all have the same voltage. So if there's 12 volts across that, there's 12 volts across that, and there's finally, guess what? There's 12 volts across that. Now, so there's 12 volts across the 6 ohm and the 12 ohm. Fair enough. Now, what's Ohm's law? Voltage is proportional to current at a constant temperature. What way do we rearrange that to make it useful? Voltage is equal to current times amps. Good man. What's voltage measured in? Volts. What's current measured in? Amperes. What's resistance measured in? Ohms. So now I'm going to look at the 6 ohm. I'm going to look at the 6 ohm resistor. And I'm going to find the voltage across it. Is equal to the current times the resistance. I know there's 12 volts across it because... They all have the same voltage times the current, I don't know, by 6. So some number, some number by 6 gives me 12. So 12 divided by 6 gives me the number. So it's 2 amperes, because current's measured in amperes. So there must be 2 amperes flowing in that. Let's do the 12 ohm resistor. Can anybody recall the derivation of Ohm's law that we need? Yes, you the plain boy. Voltage equals current times resistance. What a brilliant student. Right, so 12 is equal to the current times 12. Some number by 12 gives you 12. Hmm. Even I can get that one. One. One ampere. So that's one ampere. Go back up here and have a look. That's 3 amperes. What in the name of Jesus is that spell? That's supposed to say 2 there. Right. It does now. That's 2 amperes and that's 1 ampere. So that is 6 amperes. The current comes in. Look. What way would the most current go? Through the easiest resistance. What about the next one? 2 amps goes through the next one. And the least current goes through the biggest resistor. 
happy days. Now we'll just look at Kirchhoff's laws. The current into a junction is equal to the current out of a junction. Well, it's not actually that. It's the charge into a junction, but charge and current's the same thing. They're two brothers. So it's three plus two plus one equals six amps. So follow that back up again. Three amps comes out of that. Two amps comes out of that, and one amp comes out of that, and guess what's in that? Six amps. Happy days. Now, if you looked at the last video, I can replace this with, I can replace this with this. I can have a resistor of two ohms, and how did I get that? Where did I get that? Well, 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And guess what? I have written down an equation. So 1 over R total is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. The common denominator is 12. 3 twelfths is 1 quarter, 2 twelfths is 1 sixth, and 1 twelfth is 1 twelfth. So our total, 3 into 5, 1 6, 6 over 12. Warning, warning, warning. Throw one side upside down, throw the other side upside down. And that's equal to 2 ohms. So I could scrap all that, there's it up there, with two ohms. Two ohms. So, voltage is equal to current times resistance. So 12 is equal to the current times two. So what's the current? Six amperes, and that's exactly the same thing. So, let's see, can we get into the middle of the parish here? And can we zoom out a bit? Bit smaller. Mm, go again. Right. There's the page that I want produced. This shows you three resistors in parallel. It shows you the current through them. It shows you how to work out the voltage. It shows you how to work out what you're going to replace them with. I want you to work through that because remember, it has the same voltage, and the current splits is the definition of being in parallel. So. When you look at these three mind maps, I want you to produce the three mind maps and upload them. And then more important than that, take five minutes per mind map and look through it and even listen to me doing it again. Shortly to get a few questions on this. Toodle pip. <laughs>